Hey what's up guys welcome back to a brand new video and today I picked up one of the Sony Nickel Metal Hydride battery charger and it charges AA size batteries and AAA size batteries so I also picked up 4 AA size batteries and 4 AAA size batteries and I already have these unboxed and check this out guys these are actually made in Japan so these are original Sony batteries and if you want these batteries links are down in the video description Amazon links so just keep them over over here and these are also made in Japan and from my experience these batteries are one of the best available in the market and I already use them in my mouse and in my desk clock I have two of these desk clocks and I use these Sony batteries so coming back to the charger what really caught my eye was that this thing is powered off USB so 5 volt micro USB input you can see there is a micro USB input here on the top and this really contradicts the name power charger because there is no power supply in this thing and you'll need your phone's charger so you'll need one of these and a micro USB cable because there is no micro USB cable provided in the box so you'll need one of these and you can also power this off a, a power bank so maybe that's a good thing maybe that's a bad thing because previously in the past if you were to buy one of these uh, the power supply would be built inside the charger so all you need to do is plug in a cable and plug the other side into the mains and you're good to go you just plug in your batteries and the batteries will charge and this charger is actually pretty old this one came with my first digital camera and I think this one dates back to 2005 and it still works perfectly fine but I want more charging slots so I bought one of these so now I have a total of six charging slots but really the thing is this charger is just ready to go you can just buy one of these plug it in and the batteries will charge but with this one you'll need a phone charger or a power bank and you'll need a micro USB cable so let's quickly go over the packaging and if you wanna read what's written on here just pause the video and this is the model number and here's the back and I hope you guys are watching in 4k because I am filming this in 4k and it says here automatic safety cut off and okay so here's one thing charge two or four batteries so you can charge batteries in pairs so you can char charge two batteries at once or you can charge four batteries at once so you cannot charge one single battery and this charger will actually charge one single battery happily no problems so once again Sony one step forward two steps backwards not sure what's wrong with them and what else it says safety timer alkaline battery detection this one also has alkaline battery detection 5 volt micro USB input alright so let's go ahead and unbox this I've already taken off the seal so that I can open it easily in the video so that's it that's all you get like I said, there is no micro USB cable inside the box and this is the charger. Actually, that's pretty compact and obviously it will be compact because this one does not have a power supply inbuilt. I'm not sure if you guys can read this. And we have some operating instructions. Really Sony, take a look at the size of this manual. You guys should have really included a micro USB cable would be really nice for the consumers okay so take a look at those charging times so if you're charging this battery which is rated at 2400 milliamp hours so if you charge this it will take around 14 hours to charge this battery from 0 to 100 percent and that's actually long that's actually more time than this thing this thing charges these batteries in about six hours uh, from 0 to 100 percent so let's see how much current this thing pulls. The manual says it pulls about 500 milliamps at 5 volts. So let's check this out. And I'm just going to use this charger doctor and my power bank. This is the Xiaomi power bank. So let's plug this in. And now plug in a battery. So like I said, you cannot charge one single battery in this charger. You'll need to plug in at least two batteries for this thing to work. But on the older charger, this one, you can just plug in a single battery and this thing will charge without any problems. So that's one disadvantage you have with this newer charger. You need to plug in at least two batteries in order to make this thing work. So when two batteries are plugged in, you can see it pulls about 260 milliamps. 
at 5 volts and let's plug in two more so right now four batteries are plugged in and it's pulling about yeah around 500 milliamps and this is with double a size batteries and these batteries are almost completely discharged so i discharged them last night now the same test with these triple a size batteries so i need to plug in two batteries to start charging let's plug in so two batteries pulls around 200 milliamps and if i plug in four batteries it should pull around 400 milliamps so yeah 400 milliamps so if you plug in double a size batteries these batteries charge at a slightly higher rate so for 500 milliamps for these and 400 milliamps for these at 5 volts all right let's do a charging test and see how long it takes for this charger to charge up four double a size batteries and these are completely discharged and one thing i have noticed here in the manual the battery should be completely the battery should be fully discharged before they are recharged you can see it says right over here and i think that means that this charger lacks the ability to detect the charge level in the batteries and we'll find that out because once these batteries are fully charged and the charger cuts out and we'll unplug the cable and plug it back in and if this charger charges these batteries when they are fully charged that means the charger does not know the charge level of these batteries and that that can be potentially dangerous and bad for the batteries because then you're just over overcharging these batteries so let's go ahead and plug these in and we'll see how long it takes so it's pulling around 500 milliamps and we should be able to count the hours over here and all four batteries are now charging it has been 14 hours and these batteries are still charging and these batteries are right now very very hot so I think these might be getting overcharged but the charger should turn off after 15 hours because it says here the safety timer will turn off the charger after 15 hours if you're charging AA size batteries. Okay so the charging stops exactly after 15 hours and I just unplugged the cable because I want to do this little test but the batteries are still very very hot and after 15 hours it is supposed to stop because after 15 hours charging is automatically stopped and the led indicator is turned off so this is when you charge double a batteries these are double a batteries and wow these are <laughs> really really hot so i'm guessing these batteries were overcharging so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to bring in the old sony charger so have it plugged in and I already know that this charger can detect the charge level inside the batteries and charge the batteries accordingly. So these fully recharged batteries, if I plug these in into this charger, after about 5-10 minutes, this charger should automatically turn the charging off. Meanwhile, this charger, if it does not have the charge level detection, this will continue on charging the batteries and uh, potentially overcharge and damage them. So let's do this. Uh, so first I'm going to take these two batteries out and let's plug them in over here and now let's also plug in this charger. So let's see how long it takes for this one to cut off and this one should continue on charging if it does not know the charge level inside these batteries. So did you guys see that? The charging turned off on this charger. Well, this is still charging even though these batteries are fully charged and it just took about seven minutes for this thing to realize that the batteries are completely full so again just to do a little cross check i'm going to take these batteries out and i'm going to plug them in over here and see if this charger continues to charge these and i'm going to plug these two in here see how it goes and once again, if this thing knows the charge level of these batteries, it should stop charging in about 10-15 minutes. And let's see what happens. Alright, once again, this charger has cut the charging to the batteries because these batteries are completely charged. Meanwhile, this is still charging these batteries. So I'm guessing this charger does not have the ability to detect the level of charge in the batteries. So this is exactly why Sony is telling you 
the battery should be fully discharged before they are recharged. That's because this thing will not detect the charge level inside these batteries and will charge these batteries for straight 14 hours even if they are 60% charged. And if overcharging protection wasn't enough, the other problem here in this charger is that you need to charge batteries in pairs. So this charger will not charge one single battery. So that means you cannot charge three batteries in this charger. You'll need to put in two batteries or four batteries at once. So if I plug in this one and if I put this, these two will charge, but the third one will not charge. So that's an issue because I have this flashlight which uses three batteries and that leaves one battery uh, completely discharged. But fortunately I have this thing so I can just put this battery here and this charger will charge. And just to be sure that there is no overcharge protection in this charger, I have plugged these batteries back in that are fully charged and I have let these batteries charge for around 1 hour 30 minutes. And it looks like the charger is not cutting the power to these batteries. So fully charged batteries and they are just overcharging. Meanwhile, if you were to plug these batteries in this charger, it will cut the charging because it knows that the batteries are fully charged. Hmm. So I'm really not sure why Sony has removed the overcharge protection feature because it was there on their older chargers because this one is from 2005 and this one has overcharging protection and you can charge one batteries and this 2018 charger you cannot charge one single battery so you have to charge batteries in pairs and then this thing does not have overcharge protection it just automatically cuts off the charging after 15 hours of charge so I think that's why Sony is asking you to charge completely discharged batteries and one more thing you should keep in mind if you're buying this there is no USB cable supplied in the box and there is no power adapter so all you get is this just this charger and if you were to buy these chargers in the past from Sony you'll get the cable and the power adapter is actually built in inside the charger so all you do is just connect this cable plug it into your mains and the batteries will charge but with this one you'll need your phone's charger and you'll need a micro USB cable so keep these things in mind when you're buying this because in case you are an Apple user you probably won't have a micro USB cable and if you bought recent Android phones all of them come with USB type C so in case you don't have a micro USB cable you purchase this charger you'll need to buy one of these so guys thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time